Hey everybody, welcome. I hope all is well. I'm up here in Coconino for cooler weather. Uh, I'm on a journey to explore a new area, have some fun, and hopefully find a new camp spot. So, I should say a cool camp spot. So let's get this journey going. Right, guys I made it to where I'm gonna be camping I'm over here take a look there you go um so right now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna have everything set up and then set up camp so let's go ahead and do that I have camp all set up, squared away, situated. Go ahead, take a look. This is how I have it set up. I do still have to work on the campfire ring and that's about it. So the only thing I forgot was my five gallon bucket that I put right here to collect the water. So I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna use that bowl, fill that up and you know, wash whatever I got to wash and do whatever I got to do. But once that fills up, I got to think about what to do. Because I usually save all that so I can dump it on the fire to put it all out. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm actually going to relax, chill, take a breather, and go from there. I've been nothing but relaxed and it's been, it feels great. But after I'm gonna eat my apple and after I'm done with my apple, I'm gonna start working on the campfire ring. I'm gonna go gather rocks, which I mean, I don't have to go that far because this entire ground is filled with rocks. 
so I'm just gonna gather enough to build a fire ring. And then I think I'm gonna go scavenge some wood as well because there's plenty of wood to scavenge. And go from there. So I gathered a bunch of rocks and some wood. <clears throat> I'll show you that in a second, but I did wanna show you kind of the area. The road I came on is literally right here. I came from that way. You can keep going that way. But um, yeah, because I'm out in the middle of nowhere, uh, there's no trash whatsoever, so rock on. Um, so uh, take a look real quick. This is the wood I gathered. And then here are the rocks that I collected. I got a bunch from actually right here. That's where I'm gonna make my fire ring. And then I just kind of like walk, made like a little perimeter and I, I gathered rocks, that's it. If I need more, I'll grab more. It's not like I have to wander far. But I am going to start working on the ring. So that's situated. Probably get the wood all organized uh, in the fire pit. So that's ready to go. So when I'm ready to light it up, I can light it up. All right, so I ended up getting the fire going because the bugs came out. So once the fire went, the bugs went away. And I've just been chilling. I have about an hour to go until sunset. So uh, weather today, it's been partly cloudy, um, breezy with wind gusts up to 20. So, you know, eh. Um, I have, let's see. So we got about an hour until official sunset hits. It's mostly cloudy now, but it's supposed to clear up. So hopefully I'll see the stars tonight. Um, so the one thing I wasn't planning on doing on this trip that I'm actually doing is meal prepping. So I am cooking on the campfire. I am gonna be putting a bunch of chicken breasts on there, let those cook, and then I'll have, you know, chicken for the week. I should say most of the week. And then for to go with my chicken tonight, I have uh, sweet potatoes, broccoli, uh, carrots, and some onion. That I'm gonna cook on the fire as well, on the cast iron. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead, let's, I'm gonna cut everything up, get it ready, and then probably just start cooking.
All right, guys, my food is done. Check it out. Here it is. So there's my food. I added more wood to the fire. It feels good. I'm not going to worry about putting a shirt on because with the fire going, it's nice and heat. It's, just, it's perfect. That's all I can say. It's perfect. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Oh man, guys, whew, that food was so good. If you ever wanna make that chicken, um, so my, I guess, marinade that I did was I mashed up garlic, I put salt, fresh ground pepper, um, and I used lemon and oranges, like fresh lemon and oranges. I squeezed them, put them in a bag, and they marinated for like 24 hours. Oh, man, I'm telling you, you gotta try it, delicious. But now I think I'm gonna make some tea and I'm just gonna enjoy my evening. It is so freaking peaceful that it's, I just wanna take it in and enjoy it. So I will see you guys at some point in the morning.
Good morning, guys. Uh, so I was just enjoying my tea and the fire. The fire is all but out now. It's just a bunch of ash and a little bit of charcoal. I'm about to get my breakfast going. Got my stuff right there. Um, but something I really wanted to do is like the reason I got up so early. So I got up a little bit like just before 4.30 in the morning. So early morning. Um, so if you didn't see last week's video, I asked about my Mr. Buddy heater and why it wasn't lighting. I'm going to get in here real quick. So this heater right here. I didn't do any research or anything about it uh, to see why it wasn't lighting, why the pilot light, I should say, wasn't staying on. And so I brought it out this week. I was like, maybe it was a fluke, whatever. I tried turning it on. It turned on for a little bit and then it turned off. And I was like, you know, I was just lay laying in bed wondering like why it wasn't staying on. And uh, the coldest it got, it was uh, 45 degrees. And I just wanted, a, you know, that little bit of heat because it'll, you know, wakes you up and gets you motivated to go out. So I was just laying in bed thinking like, why isn't it? Because it's barely a year old and I have barely used it. And I was like, maybe it's dirty and that's why it's not like staying on. So I took my finger and I like put where the pilot light was and all that stuff. And I just kind of rubbed around a little bit. And then I let it turned on and stayed on. So, ha, huh, there you go. So I'm glad I got that Mr. Buddy heater working. The video where I asked help uh, from last week, it hasn't even been posted yet. So for anyone that left uh, a comment about it, thank you. But um, I'm going to get breakfast going so I can get food in my belly so my brain can start working. Per usual, my food was freaking delicious. 
I have been slowly picking up camp. I got everything out of my tent. Um, I put some stuff in the truck, but I'm actually, I'm not heading out yet. Um, I specifically camped over in this area because I wanted to hike to the lake, Upper Mary's Lake, which is about maybe a quarter mile that way. So I wanna go check that out, have some fun before I officially leave. Uh, but now I got my hiking boots on. I'm gonna get my shirt on and I'm gonna go on this hike and check out the lake. All right, campfire is doused and fully out. Got my shirt on and let's head through the woods to this lake. So cool, man. That wasn't that bad. I did have to go under that fence. Wasn't expecting that. And that's probably for the cattle to keep them from coming here or going out either way. Oh, there's people canoeing. So in wanting to come to this lake, camp close to it because you really can't camp next to it. There's no camping spots next to it. Um, I had questions, so I ended up going to the park ranger station and asking. Um, mainly about dispersed camping and like on the map it shows where you can disperse camp. And you know, I've been going to those areas and what I've been doing is I've been looking for like people who have been camped there before. So that's why um, I always see trash and like I look for the firing and all that and I'll end up camping there. Well, the park ranger ended up, you know, telling me that, you know, you can kind of, if you find a spot, you can go ahead and camp there as long as it's in the designated, you know, area on the map, you're good. I was like, that's freaking awesome. So that's what I did this trip. He also did tell me that if you make a campfire ring that you have to destroy it because it's not natural and you have to return it back to like, you know, what it looks like before you're even there. So I did not know that, so I will start to incorporate that. So if you guys want to take a look, there is a boat launch day use camping area right over there. So you can get to the lake and have some fun. The side I'm on though is like you're only getting to it if you hike or if you use like a boat or canoe to get across. And then right on this side, like right here, there's a road paved, easy to get to, so everyone can use. 
and get to the day use areas. And I think there's some campgrounds as well uh, in certain areas that give you the view of the lake. All right, so I've just been chilling, relaxing, enjoying the view, man, but I'm gonna head to the edge of the lake and touch the water because for me, you haven't officially been to whatever body of water until you've touched it. see how cold this is oh man it's actually it's a little cool it's not freezing it's nice cool so upper mary's lake check that off the list okay i think i'm gonna head back over to camp relax a little bit and then pack up or i should say finish packing up a little bit i have all right, so I got back to camp, chilled. I pretty much have everything packed up, as you can see. And I just have the few lots. So funny thing is, uh, I still have some wood right there. So like the past, I guess, what, three trips I've taken, I have bought a ton of wood and I haven't actually brought it back with me. I just kept that at home and I kept every time I came up here, I would just buy more wood. I figured let me just collect wood so I have a reserve at home ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. I will say when I was talking to the park ranger, I did ask about um, fire band because I know that's coming up soon. He said it's probably 98%. He was like, I'm 98% sure that it's gonna start this weekend. Today's Tuesday. So this might've been the last campfire um until i guess end of summer fall we'll see but anyways per his like um thing i am going to destroy the campfire or the fire ring so oh. Bring it back to nature, y'all. Bring it back to nature. There we go. I will say one of the things like why I took so much care and consideration of my campfires is that I wanted others to enjoy it. But part of dispersed camping, I guess, is, I should say part of that of dispersed camping and leave no trace behind is not leaving a campfire, campfire ring. All right, so that's what the campfire ring looks like now. I just gotta pack up the wood, the trash, and I'm good to go. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, just like normal guys, I, I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I will see you next time. All right, take care guys. Thanks again.